Oh fuck. If you motherfuckers will believe it, I'm still fucking drunk from New Year's Eve. Holy shit, that was a fun night. I got raped by two women named Tess in the bathroom of a Sears. My friend from my old job, Gloria, and I went to the wagon wheel. A local bar here in Springfield, Ohio, home of the AIDS. The bartender, Trevor, promised to keep us safe from any men who might try to take advantage of us and our tender 47-year-old pussies. But he didn't make any promises about women, so I can't blame him for what happened. Gloria passed out and these two ladies named Tess came up and fucked me in the bathroom. Honestly, if they would have asked me for consent, I would have said yes. I'm willing to try anything once. But, now they're rotting in prison, because unlike Bill Cosby, they didn't have money to make this problem go away. Rape is never the answer, kids. If someone rapes you, call 1-800-656-HOPE and send that fucker to prison. Fuck Bill Cosby. Now, please welcome RJ Quillen and Zach Roberts for more tape. Bill Cosby is a rapist. He, he was convicted of rape. Well, not really. He was, he was arrested. Oh, yeah, he was and arrested now he's on for trial. Rape. Didn't he admit to the rape? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he admitted to the I rape. I don't think... I don't think he'll ever admit to the rape. I thought he did. He, no, I don't think so, because he posted on Facebook the other day, he was like, friends and fans, thank you for your support. Because so, he's like, stand beside me in this. Right. They're framing me for rape. Yeah. <laughs> These, like, 47 women are all lying. All 47, or however many women it is. They're all fucking liars. Bill Cosby's not a rapist. He, but he is, though. Oh, he is, for sure. Agnes, you're wrong on many things. But you're right on that. Yeah. You're wrong. You're wrong on incest being okay. Yeah. Actually, no. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, and for sure, uh, for sure, Bill Cosby is a terrible person. Yeah. Like I want to, I want to acknowledge that Bill Cosby is a terrible human being. I do have two of his books, and when all of this information came out, I was going to uh, have a book burning video. That was when we were not in between our friendship. And uh, where's it? I only see one book. There's one, and then the other one's on the other bookshelf over there because oh. it's like a kids' book. Um, Cosbiology or something like that or something. It's like rapeology. Yeah, it's essentially. <laughs> and this is this is Bill Cosby fatherhood. It's it's actually father rape. Bill Cosby father. How rape. I raped my daughter in yeah. six different ways. Yeah, exactly. Um, because do you think Bill? Co- do you think Fat Albert is like just one big allegory for raping girls? Probably. It probably is. Like that's why I always wear that red shirt. Hey, hey, it's rape. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm just, I, I, you know, I'm just, Bill Cosby is a fucking rapist. Yeah, I think it's like, I love how it's just everybody's accepted it now. Yeah, like, they're just like, like Bill Cosby yeah, is a rapist. Yeah, well, there are a lot of people that still think he's well, they're, uh, innocent until they're proven wrong. guilty, but they are wrong. Yeah. Uh, but you know who else is a rapist? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton? Yeah, he is a rapist, yeah. That's what people think. He's accused of rape. Yeah. But, uh, but like, less. Like, it's like two people. And they might be telling the truth. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe, but like maybe they're just trying to get attention. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't because no, that, they cute, no, like, they were cleared. They were they were said that they were lying. Like, oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was probably because they were ago. forced into it by the fucking liberal by, news yeah, media. Yeah, by the by Hillary Clinton and her fucking no, not flying Hillary. monkeys because she's a witch. Oh, she is a witch. Oh, she a, is like fucking that wi- witch of the west. Yeah, she her ancestors were burned in Salem. Really? She's she's a member. Of, she's a, she's a member of the coven. Are you serious? No. Oh, I thought this was like a fact that I never. No, knew you of. know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, fucking Fiona Good. Yep, she's, I heard her. She's fucking friends. I heard her. Fucking Hillary Clinton. Really? Yeah, Hillary Clinton is friends with fucking Fiona Good. Hillary Clinton Damn. and Madame Delphine Lalori are friends. That's fucked up. I know it. Why aren't the news? Liber- why aren't the liberal news media talking about that? Because CNN, you mean Clinton News Network, MSNB. <laughs> Do people call yeah, it that? The guy that I worked with at uh, Stanley Electric, who uh, who was the 
The guy who I worked with, Randy Leary was his name. Have I ever told you about Randy? I think so. Yeah. Oh, probably all the time, like all the stupid shit that he said, because I forgot that we, we lived together uh, when I worked at Stanley Electric. Um, but yeah, Clinton he... Clinton News Network. Clinton News Network. Because I was like, he said, let me guess, you probably watch uh, MSNBC for your news, and he did air quotes, and I was like, no, I know, I know MSNBC is uh, biased, like I know they are, like they don't pretend that they're not, like... Yeah, you know they they like it's liberal news for liberals. Yeah, it's it's you know it's considered like news talk shows. Like yeah, it's not like they're not presenting it. It's they're not presenting it directly as news like fo- fucking Fox News, which has a conservative slant. Um, and I was like, no, actually, I watch like CNN for like real news, which I don't. But like, you know what I mean? That's just what you say. And he's like, oh yeah, you mean you think CNN's, CNN's uh, you think CNN's unbiased? And I was like, well, I mean it's more unbiased. And he's like, it, it is Clinton unbiased. News Network. Clinton News Network. That means it's biased. Yeah, I fucking hate him. He was the scum of the earth. He let me go to his Facebook because there's some there's some good jewels on there. I'm not friends with him, but like I sometimes look him up just to see what he's saying, and it's always the same things. It's always um. He doesn't have a picture. Is that because he's ugly? Once again, we have let racism take control. When does this stop? You have racist people and all race of people. It's all about how normal people overlook the idiots. You do racist things, but no way should people saying they won't play sports or won't eat go ahead. It's your life, and by doing you the, by you doing this, you are as much a racist as anyone else. Go BYU, beat Missouri. It's cool with it's it's cool someone with courage. Of course, in today's U.S., if you're white, you're racist. That's what is being taught. What? Why is it when you disagree with this president, you are a racist? Let's is, see. If, is this guy a racist? Like, yeah, oh yeah. He said he literally said he wishes the South had won the Civil War. He oh. genuinely said that. Do you remember when I told you about that? Yep. Uh, let's see if my lessons I learned in school was this. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't put a space after his periods, and yeah, it bothers me. But he also listen. Let's see if my lessons I learned in school was this. What does that even mean? I don't what? know. Slavery started in the West Indies and didn't involve the white race at that time. Also, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican and fought against slavery. Most of your slave owners were democra- democraties. This also, the KKK, if not mistaken, was most comprised of democraties. Me saying this don't me a racist, democraties. but I have a right. That do exist in this country. And if this country is so terrible, why do people want to be here or want to come here? Well, it's because their country or government is worst. Also, the Civil War was mainly fought over land that the South felt was theirs, being taken over by the North, not slavery, although there was some slavery involved. What the <laughs> fuck? This guy is so dumb. Roseanne, this happened to you, and if so, why? <laughs> Roseanne comments, what? What the fuck, Randy Leary? Okay, let's look at this problem we have in the White House. The president is already talking about the debt limit. Seems funny that they're still two weeks away. Now, let's see. Do you think this will cause chaos here in the U.S.? Sure it will. Now, who will be able to declare martial law? Our president, of course. Do you really think the American soldiers will turn on the American people? I doubt it. Remember about six months ago when there was 60,000 Russian troops brought to the U.S.? Now think why they are here. The American people need to stand up and take notice. What? Friends and family will hurt you the most. That is why I stayed at my house. (laughs) I have one special niece. Nope. Oh, my. My, my. This is Roseanne again. Man, man, man. Family and... Oh, hang on. Here it is. Mr. President, tell your Democrates friends to quit lying. He, he actually thinks that's the word. Yeah, yeah, he thinks that's how it's spelled. Mr. President, tell your <laughs> Democrates friends to quit lying and tell the truth on your health care. I checked my coverage with my current plan. My permit would double. Also, I would have a higher out-of-pocket. Why lie? The only one this helps is the Democrates who voted for you and don't want to pay for nothing. What? Once again, to everyone who voted for Obama for president, now we have 15,000 troops coming to the U.S. By the way, they are combat ready. Why? 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 Can anyone say martial law? Hold on. Once again, everyone, we have 15,000 Russian troops coming to us. That didn't happen. To everyone who voted for this president, I want to say thank you for bringing and tearing down this country. We who really love this country really need to say thank you. All the senators who voted for the amendment. Amnesty, amnesty bill, bill. Who, who all need to be voted out. How did he spell amnesty right? Vote Romney if you want a future United States of America before we become a third world country. Either way, we are losing rights. We are screwed. Okay, I'll probably lose some friends or family. 
When you make a change at president, you're not a racist country or the person wouldn't have been elected in the first place. We were promised a transparent government. Didn't happen. Lower unemployment, not national debt cut in half, not so unified country, more divided now than ever. We'll work across party lines. Where's that at? Nasty political ads. That's what true. No American left behind or forgotten. What about the Americans on 9-11-2012, Benghazi? Oh my Once again, God. making a change isn't racist. It's just smart. But this guy is a racist, like he said the South should have won. Yeah. And this is and this is just real. Like this is just reading straight from his page. This is this is fucking stupid. I and this, this I worked with him. Had a great time. Uh, and it's but after let's go America, take back our government. That was the day that um the Tea Party won in twenty ten. That's how far mm. back we are now. He and it's you know, I don't understand why everything, it was always like this, only 29 days to take back our government from the democracies. He thought that was a word in 2010. Yeah. Why does he think it's democracies? Is that a word? Well, I think he just doesn't, I think he, I think he means Democrats. I know, but like. Well, he means Democrats, and then I think he just thinks it has an E in it. Democrats. I'm just saying it, democracies. <laughs> Look it up, did you mean to? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, his phone has an autocorrect, it's like, did you mean Democrats? He's like, no, I meant democracies. Yeah, he's like, no, I, I meant. It's a damn liberal phone. I hate, I hate Randy Leary, like. This is he works for U.S. security. Yeah, it's probably a lie. Oh, almost definitely a yeah, lie. Yeah, like, he's, he's not cause I remember he, because he's a racist. I remember he worked at, um, he worked at fucking, ba- fucking Big Lots. Big Lots. For their yeah. furniture. Like, he was on a forklift at Big Lots, and he said it was the best job he ever had. Oh, and did he get fired? <clears throat> no, he uh, he left because they didn't give him enough hours or something like that. I don't fucking know. I hate Randy Leary. He's he actually the scum of the earth. was the best job like, he ever we had. Have been in the, we have been... We got in so many political arguments. And I was like, we should really... Like, I was in... I would always, like, bite my tongue. Like, there was so much there that I would, like, never talk about. Yeah. Like, I never mentioned... I never, like, talked to anybody about being homosexual. Until I, like, went into the clean room and there were other homosexuals. But, like, in the warehouse, it was just fucking my cock, my boss. Sounds like cock. Yeah, like, exactly. Like cock something. Yeah. And he put him... He would just sit at the desk all night and listen to music. And it pissed me off because he was the most lazy motherfucker I've ever seen in my entire life. Then there was big old Dustin McHenry, who, whose stomach hung out the entire time. It was morbidly obese and smelled terrible and dipped, uh, did chewing tobacco. He started the same day that I did. Then there was Tom Henson, who was a good guy. He was a nice guy. Republican, uh, of course. Uh, always wore a camouflage jacket. Always drank coffee all night. Hot chocolate. Fucking always was at the fucking vending machine. Like, he's ne- he was never doing anything but at the vending machine. Always. And then there was uh, Randy Leary. And they were so all... sucks. Yeah. So I would... There was so much that I didn't talk about. And then one night... I don't even know how it came up, but one night they they were like, so you're a Democrat? And I was like, e- yeah. They're like, why? <laughs> we just had a long conversation about it, and literally everything that they said was like, but what about Benghazi? Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, they were like, but what about, like, the president told, the president and Hillary Clinton told them to stand down. Like, they purposely killed four Americans, and you mean to tell me that they're, they're supposed to be the president? George W. Bush killed, like, and it was all, in the and it was, war. And it was all about, like, Obamacare and all that stuff. That's all they ever wanted to talk about. And I was like... I'm pretty sure they don't even understand yeah. Obamacare. Well, they just, they understand what, like, Fox News told them about Obamacare. God fucking damn it. Yeah. I hate Republicans. Yeah, I hate, I hated them so much. This is, like, a recurring theme in Motif. That's all we ever talk about. Yeah, and uh, I also, one of the other things that I remembered just now about Tom Henson is that he was a womanizer, and he loved having sex with women. Okay. He had, like, five girlfriends. Was he attractive? No. I mean, probably if you were, like, 60 and, like, gross and a Republican. Oh, yeah, I remember you telling me about that guy. Yeah. He had, like, five girlfriends. He's like, and I, I don't even know if it was true. Like, the more that, like, at the time, I was like, yeah, that's probably true. Like, he's Tom. Like, yeah, Tom has five girlfriends. Because he would just tell stories, and you'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. But now, like, the more I think about it, how did he get five girlfriends? He'd be like, yeah, I'm going, out with, I'm going out with Tammy tonight. <laughs> Gonna have me a hot date with Tammy. Ew, that's an uh, that's such a white trash name to me. Yeah, Tammy, Sherry, and, like, Lynette were, like, the three. But not, like, Lynette Scavo. Because, like, she was, in a, she was a good person. Lynette Scavo from Desperate, Desperate Housewives? Housewives? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um... But they would, it, he was always like... Sherry, that's a fucking trash Yeah, name. with an I. C-H-E-R-I. God. Yeah. Um, and we would sit there and, like, he would, like, tell us stories. And I remember I'd always ask him, like, 
So which one are you going to marry? Because, like, none of them. The answer was none of them, because he was having fun fucking them all. And he wanted to date a girl named Barbie, I remember now. God. He loves trailer trash names. He anyway, probably lives in a trailer. Just I hate these people. Trash. I hate these people. I hate these people. We need to talk about something else. I hate Well, when I was at so Pizza much. Hut, I always bit my tongue, because you remember that Kevin little bitch ass? Yeah. Ke- what's his last name? Kevin. I don't know. He's Ke- in the military now. Yeah, he's in the military now, but he... he he, I never understood what he was saying to me mm-hmm. because he was one of those people, you know, he talked to you and he like, he, he, you know, he thought he was saying something intelligent, Yeah, but he wasn't saying anything that made any sense right. to me. And a lot of people at Pizza Hut were like that. Like, I had no idea what the fuck they were talking about because like they just used words that didn't mean what they thought they meant. Yeah. And he was like a firm believer. This was like during like, like the Ferguson shit and like, yeah, he's like. They need to stop fucking tearing up that goddamn city. Like, they ain't doing nothing. Like, they didn't do that because they was black. Loud. They didn't do that because he was black. They, they they need to stop doing that. He was a firm believer. I and I was just like... And one night, I, like, said something about it. He's like, nope, nope. And just, like, started going on. Like, yeah. I didn't understand what his argument was. So I was just like, okay. I remember I, when the people at Pizza Hut, like, when Heather took over and she, like, noticed... Someone noticed my bumper sticker or something like that. And they were like, so are you into politics? It was like, Heather asked me. And like, Heather and like, Bree was there and like, Amy. They were all standing like, over in the office being lazy. And they should all be Democrats because I know for a right. fact they've all been on public assistance. Yeah, they all should be. And she was, and Heather was like, so are you, are, she said, are you, uh, into politics? I was like, oh yeah. I was like, I, I will. I genuinely love politics. Like, they're f- fascinating to me. Like, I, I love it. And they're she, they're all like, yeah, I'm not really. Like, I think... And, and, of course, Amy was like, bullshit! It's a bunch of bullshit! They're all crooks! They, they all got... They all got good points. Yeah. But they're all crooks. Yeah, exactly. And, uh... Bree said that she just doesn't care, and then Heather said that she votes, and she's a Democrat. But, like, good. she doesn't, like, care. Like, she doesn't, like... Yeah. It's not, like, something that she's, like, very interested in. What about Nate? I mean, Nate's definitely Republican. Oh, for Nate? sure, yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause he, yeah, Nate used to always tell me about how he lo- loved Hitler. Yeah, he had some good ideas. He, he did. Yeah, he, yeah, Nate told me one time that Hitler had some good ideas. Yeah. Uh, what probably the, the best idea that Hitler had was killing the, the Jews. I think that was... <laughs> <laughs> the main one. <laughs> well, that was his best idea. Probably like, write a Mein Kampf. Yeah, that was a good idea. Probably the gas chambers, too. Oh, yeah. And because it's like, you, you, oh, I'm sad now. Because I just heard, like, they would, like, be like, you get in the shower for the first time in, like, three oh. weeks. And then they'd just take them in there and they'd be like, where is it? Because I remember, oh, I'm sad now. What movie did we watch? I don't remember what the boy movie in the it was. Striped Pajamas? No. I don't remember what movie it was, but, like, they handed them soap before they went in. And they were like, they were like I don't I don't know if this is a shower or if we're going to die. And they all died. God. It was a gas chamber. Okay, we should probably get off the Holocaust. Yeah. Okay. Holocaust is sad. Yeah. That reminds me of Nathan for you, where he had the like <laughs> Summit Ice yeah. Company. That... that was so funny. He talked about that on uh, Conan. He goes on yeah, Conan all that. the time. Conan thinks he's hilarious. He's fucking. He is. He is, like, fucking he hilarious. is hilarious. And I guess I, I, it took me forever to like. I was like, why is there another? Because it everything on Comedy Central is just terrible sketch shows. Like yeah. Comedy Central Key, is terrible. Key and Peel, uh, Broad Show. City. Carl Show's great. No. I think it's good. I watch Broad City. Episode. Broad City's good though. Broad City is a uh, is like an actual like sitcom though. Like not a it's, sitcom. It's not good though. It's not that good. But I mean like it's not a it's not a sketch show. I feel like it's only funny just because it's women. Like haha, women shouldn't be vulgar. Yeah. Well, sketch shows I think are just always terrible. Like what, what, nine what times are other out of sketch ten. Shows that they, Mad TV was. Mad TV was good, but that's that's different. I'm thinking like sketch shows like like Mind of Mencia. That was on Comedy Central. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Or that like the Chappelle awful. show is all right, I guess. Yeah, but some of the episodes are yeah. really hit or miss. I don't really like. I don't. I never watched Chappelle show. But anyway, like it took me forever to watch Nathan for you, but it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's like, like one I of never. The best I was like, I'm never gonna watch this. Like it's just another boring sketch show, but it's not at all, and it's so funny, and especially for us because we like. Like we actually like Kitchen Nightmares and Hotel Hell. And, yeah, like, we love all the shows like where they go in and like help yeah. the businesses. Yeah, and that's that's literally what it is, and we love it. I want to. Be, oh, it's so funny. I want to be Nathan Fielder. I wish we were as funny as Nathan Fielder. Yeah, because his his humor is even is so dry and like. Yeah, I know. It's like like it's he's so he's like <laughs> he so never serious. breaks character. Yeah. 
he's like so serious the whole time. Like, I think we should have a poo flavored ice cream. <laughs> he's like, I like obviously about it, a bad and idea. I was eating and I saw some a po- rat poop on the floor, and then I was like, "This is so repulsed that I should." <laughs> so you're welcome. It, it's, so you you could just keep the rest of it. You don't have to sell it. <laughs> you're welcome. It's so. Oh my god, it's so funny, and it's so, like, I don't even know, it's so funny. And you saw that the pri- the private investigator has a... Yeah, I want to watch this show. A TV sh- I don't. You need. It's gotta be bad. You need. It's gotta be it's terrible. It's not porn. It so was porn. <laughs> yeah, like, he, he, that guy did <laughs> And then he, like, went porn. back and, like, he's like, here's the dictionary definition of porn. He's like, he's like hey, no wonder my pants were mad at me. <laughs> I, that guy has to like Nathan. Like, he has to, like, hate him, but, like, he has to like him. Because, know, like, I if felt it so wasn't bad for him, because like, everybody was so mean to I him. I know, right? Nicholas, you would only get this. Did, did he watch Nathan for you? No. Oh, well, he's not going to get I think this. Nicholas is dead. What? He hasn't messaged me in, like, over a day. He must be dead. <laughs> I think he is dead. And he hasn't messaged a group chat in a while. I know, that's why I think he's dead. Yeah, because you think he would have responded, like, because of my dick. Yeah. Well, and then, like... So, the last time I talked to him was like I sent him the I sent him the three hour motive, uh-huh. and he said yay. That was on Thursday. Saturday at three fifty four. Friday at eleven eleven a.m. I sent him the thing. Saturday at three fifty four, he said yay, and then I messaged him st- Saturday at seven twenty eight. I said I haven't talked to you in days. How long have you hated me? And then today I sent him. You watched me quit. Now watch me vape vape. And he hasn't said anything to that either. And it says he was active one day ago, and I think he's dead. And I don't know how we find out if he's dead or not. Yeah, do we go to Alabama? Well, no. That could be a video. Uh, what if Nicholas is dead? That would, like, be really sad. That would be that would be pretty I sad. I wouldn't want to go to his funeral. Yeah, that'd like, be that'd be sad. That'd be hard to plan. Do you Nicholas, ever do this, like, wonder if your friends died? Nicholas, if you're dead... Uh, oh, 1-800-456-HOPE. Yeah, I hope you're not dead. Now I'm scared. I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. He's probably just having lots of sex. He, lots of BDSM. Yeah. And I and I think I, he's probably still drunk from New Year's Eve. Uh, that's that's for real. Wicked. And that's just me being 100. And he might also hate us. Yeah. Who knows? Why? I don't know. Because we, we get in the house in Springfield and it's not Alabama. Well, why does he want to live in Alabama? Because you still live there, and he likes Alabama. I would want to live with you guys if I had the opportunity. We told you you could live with us, and you said no. I can't afford it. Yep. Yep. I make $200 every paycheck. Yep. That ain't enough to pay the bills. Yeah. We need to get McDonald's, I think. Yeah, we McDonald's get McDonald's. is good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that leads into the story that we were just getting ready to tell. Yeah, I thought the trailer trash led into the story. It but didn't. It, it, didn't feel it, right. it didn't lead into the story, but now McDonald's leads into the story. Um, so Fuck we had a, you, Shannon Bam. That's how I'm gonna preface this. Yeah. So we had a we we hired a new girl. Well, we didn't. Brie hired a new girl. I thought uh, very. Like at first, we saw her application before before she even hired her. Is that Brie Nicole Reagan? Yeah. McDonald's. She, yep. She said she'll be here in about thirty to forty five minutes. If you still want to go to McDonald's. Well, good. That was like convenient. Except 34 or 5 minutes is a long time. I know, right? But, I mean, that's... Anyway, so... So, we, we, we see her application, and it says, nickname, Bam. Yeah. And then weeks later, Brie hires her. Well, and, like, immediately I was like, well, we're not hiring this girl. Like... Yeah, because her nickname is Bam. It's so unprofessional. Like, I... Like, you know, nickname is, like, for RJ, where you have to put, like, Richard Lee Quillen Jr. And yeah, then nickname, nick- RJ. Or, like, you know... I mean, I just filled out my name Zach Roberts, but I mean, like, if I put if Zachary, Zachary Zach. Zach, like, it's not for fucking, like, salami, you know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna... Lunchbox. Yeah, like, you're not gonna write these, like, weird... <laughs> you're not gonna write, like, your fucking, like, friend's nicknames. Like, I, you wouldn't write fucking Big Daddy, you know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna write these things. And she did. And she did, so immediately, I was like, no. And, like, we didn't need anybody at the time. Uh, but then when Nicholas left, we hired Josie, which was some skinny bitch... Uh, who was doing really good. Like, I thought she was a really good employee. She was a nurse by day, pretzel roller by night. Um, She rolled? Well, no. (laughs) (laughs) Pretzel roller by night. Yeah. And she, uh... Okay, hang on. I had to finish that text. I hate when, like, people text me during Motave because I always get distracted. It's Um, like when people call people during dinner and they're like, what the fuck, we're eating. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck, we're Motafing. 
Um, We're so recording a podcast, Brie. She, uh, so Josie was doing really well. Like there were, t- there was a time when I was like, Josie is like our best employee. Like when she gets caught up, like Josie would be our best employee. She was very like she, she, like by her the, that first day, the fir- her first day was the day that the water broke. That very first day. Yeah, really. And I thought she worked there for longer. No, that was her very first day. And we were like... And she was... You know how, like, now... I'm sure you probably do it now, but, like, when someone else is taking an order and you hear cheddar, you just go get a cheddar? Yeah. She was very fast at doing that. Like, she like there would be times where they wouldn't... They haven't even finished ordering, and she has it all right there. And, you know, she was very fast, very quiet, but, like, good at taking orders. Like, she was very good. Like, I spoke very highly of her on her second day. I was like, she is a very good employee. Like, I was like, she's great. Yeah. Like, th- what more do you want me to say? Yeah. The bitch quit. At the Without end of her, notice. At the end of her first week, she put it, she, well, she's only there for a week. On, she, at the end of her first week, she put in her two weeks notice. Okay. Because she said, ooh, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that. No one listens to this. She put in her two weeks notice because she had, she was high risk pregnant, is what she said, and she couldn't deal with working at the hospital and pretzel maker because she was, she's had miscarriages before and she's high risk pregnant, is what she said. So we're like, okay, whatever. Like at least she's still here for two weeks, but we do need to hire someone else. We that's when you came in. That's when you got hired. Oh really? This was this recent? Yeah. See, I thought she worked there for a while because she had a picture on the board. No. Her <laughs> first, like we had a meeting. And then that day took pictures. Like, it was her very first day was just coming oh. in for a meeting, and she got her picture taken. Um, we, so, you know, a, 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 like, a week passes by, and, it, like, at the end of one of our shifts, she just quits. Like, she never comes back. Um, and I think she's lying about being pregnant. I don't think she's lying that she's, like, a high-risk pregnancy, because she might have had, like, miscarriages or whatever. And I'm the only one, besides Hannah at Pretzel Maker, who, ha- who, holds, who holds this belief that Josie is a terrible person. I never met I never met the bitch. I think she's a terrible... She, well, it, you had to cover all of her yeah, shifts. Yeah, I had to immediately cover all of her shifts, but I'm pissed at her. Because she quit without notice. Well, she put in notice, but then just didn't do it. And because she said she was high-risk pregnant, but was sm- taking smoke breaks the entire shift. So if you're high-risk pregnant, you probably shouldn't be smoking. Yeah, like, that's... I mean, you shouldn't be smoking anyway, like, if you're pregnant. But if you are hi- even, like, even less smoking if you're high-risk pregnant. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So I think she's lying. I think she was lying about it. Probably. So then, don't, I don't really know why we needed Shannon, but we needed Shannon, I guess. And Yeah, I thought we had enough people. I did too, but, well, I guess because Dan's getting ready to go back to school. Sure. So then we won't have Dan on the shit, the schedule. So, Shannon came highly recommended from Josie, because they're friends. So we know she's going to be good. Yeah. And, well, yeah, okay. So, (laughs) she came highly recommended from Josie, and we were like, okay, like, Brie interviewed her, you know, she'll fit in, like, she'll be a good worker, I guess. And Brie didn't, like, bother looking her up on Facebook. Yeah, Brie didn't look her up on Facebook, Brie didn't, you know, call any of her references, she didn't do any of that. Yeah, she hired her strictly on Josie's word. On Josie's word and, like, her interview. Which interviews are such a lie. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. None of it's true when you interview someone. Like, none of it's true. Like, where do you see yourself in five years? Being the manager at Pretzel Maker. Yeah, exactly. Um, in your, having your job. Yeah. <laughs> raping that. your oh, son. Raping your son? What is, that, what is that family guy line? He's like, don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing, doing your, your son. Son? <laughs> 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 anyway, so she starts... Um, And apparently her first day, I wasn't there, but apparently she worked with Dan and Whitney her first day, and she was very bossy. Oh, Uh, yeah, I heard that, too. But that was from Whitney, and Whitney, like, plain old didn't like her. Yeah, and so then the next day, I worked with her. I didn't think she was, like, that bad. I I mean, like, I had already looked at her Facebook. Very annoying. Uh, I could, I immediately, looking at her Facebook, I was like, she's not gonna last very long. I thought she was gonna pull a Josie. Um, and so... She, you know, she was forgetful. Like, she'd immediately forget, like, how many cheeses someone ordered. You know, she would just forget everything. It, you wanted whipped cream? No. Like, she had a really... This has nothing to do with her work ethic. Yeah. But a really weird-shaped body. Oh, yeah. She... Like, very lumps, weird. Like, lumps coming out of everywhere. Kind of like a Mark <laughs> Hartley body. <laughs> but even Mark Hartley looked better than this bitch. Yes, yeah, like, just really weird Her stomach shaped. was always hanging out. 
Yeah. And I don't know how people don't notice that. I I bought my t-shirt at Walmart for three dollars in the arts and crafts section because it was cheaper. And that's not even a lie. Like that is what she sounds she, like. She literally told me that too. And um, you know, so I thought she was all right. She said that she had worked at some place and they fired her for being pregnant. Don't I don't think that's, that's true. That's illegal. You could sue for that. Yeah, I also don't think it's true. But you know, so she she told me she hadn't worked for a year and a half before this. Yeah, so she was all right. She said like. You know, she was kind of tired because, like, her feet hurt. But I understand that, like, when it took... It took me a minute to get used to, like... Yeah, my feet ...being on your feet, like, all the all the shift and, like, walking and all that stuff. Um, so then uh, on Saturday, she was supposed to come in 1 to 7. Uh, and she called at, like, 12.30. And she's like... Oh, well, here, let's go back to the... Yeah, let's go back to the day before yeah. that when I'm working with Friday. the bitch. I'm working the morning shift with the bitch. And we're slow as fuck until you show up. Yeah, that's you always show, how it is. You show up, like, an hour early. Always. And then we got busy. Kind of. And she's like, can you make me a mocha mania? And I'm like, sure. You know, making a smoothie is a pain in the ass. Nobody wants to do it. But I was like, sure, whatever. I'll make a mocha mania for you. Because it's for a customer. And the mocha mania is the most inconvenient smoothie to make. Because you got to do the fuck. Espresso, then chocolate, chocolate, then 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 vanilla, then ice. Then and you gotta, then put, you chocolate gotta put chocolate in the, in the cup. cup. That's the most pain in the ass. And whipped thing. cream. And then, and then chocolate put chocolate on the whipped cream. cream. Like, it's so much. And then she comes back and she's like, can you make me a cappuccino too? And I'm like, also for a customer. I'm like smiling at her. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> fuck my life. And you're like back then. I'm like, fuck my life. Yeah. Because I have to make another smoothie. And today. smoothies are the worst. Like, I hate making smoothies. You, like, it's not that hard, but I hate doing it's it. It's annoying, yeah. And she's up in the front. She comes back. She's like, can you make me yeah, a. She, hang on. <laughs> She, like, like, doesn't come all the way in the back. She, like, leans... Her, she, like, pokes her head through, like, the door. Yeah, like, her... Like, all I see <laughs> is her chin, really. Yeah. And she's like, can you make me a mocha mania? Can you make that two mocha manias? I've really been wanting one. And I'm like... And immediately <laughs> at that point, I hated her. Yeah, which is like... Because she it, just went in the front and sat there. Like, we didn't have customers yeah. at that point. We're, he, he I was just I'm waiting on his mocha mania. Oh, are you Okay. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Goodbye, Nicholas. What if those were my last words? Like, you and Nicholas both died. Yeah. That'd be sad. We'd have, like, a double funeral. Well, I don't... He would want, like, skinny, weird, gaunt shit at his funeral. Gotch. Gaunt shit. What's gaunt? It's like... I don't know. Nicholas loves it, though. He That's, like, his... That was his quote. That was a direct quote from Nicholas. What? Skinny, weird, gaunt shit. Okay. And so I've always just... Not made fun of him, but, like, I've always used that phrase. Because when I was looking for something for his Christmas gift, I was like, what's something that's skinny, weird, and gaunt? Taxidermied pufferfish. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, so... So, yeah, we need to have separate funerals. Maybe I'll... <laughs> like, just because, like, he wants, like, skinny, weird, gaunt shit, and I want, like, a bubble machine. A bubble machine? Well, I'm just kidding. Uh, Hannah's grandma had a bubble machine at her funeral because she wanted people to be happy. That's neat. Isn't that sad? It's that's, sad. That's kind of really sad, actually. And she also, um, what was the other thing that was weird? Oh, yeah, like, Hannah and I had to, like, read a poem at her funeral, and it was kind of weird because it was, like, it was, like, a weird poem. I don't remember. There, I, Stars mist with the ice of eight suns on the east river of Colorado. Exactly. Um, that was some good poetry. Yeah. So, <laughs> she comes Damn, in, makes me make yeah. her mocha Then the next day, uh, Kirsten and I are working, and the phone rings, and I'm like, oh god, like, is someone's gonna complain, or it's fucking Gina at corporate. And she's like, I answer the phone, pretzel maker, this is Zach. Or pretzel maker, this is Zach, how can I help you? And she's like, Zach, uh, this is Shannon. I was like, okay, hello. This is Shane. <laughs> And she's like... And you immediately thought she was calling off. Yeah, I immediately... I was like, okay, she's not coming in today. Like, that's immediately what's happening. And she's like, I don't think I'm going to be able to... I'm not... I'm not. And she had, like, that fake, like, sadness in her oh, voice. Yeah. Like, when I quit That, like, everybody like, knows. Like, everybody does it when they call in. They're like, oh, I, like, I, I, I'm not going to be able to make it in today. She's like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it in today. And I'm like, okay. She's like, or any day. <laughs> And I'm like, what? <clears throat> She's like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just thought I was ready to have a job and also be a mommy, but I'm just not. I'm not ready to leave my kid. And it's it's an ugly baby. It's giving me anxiety attacks, and and actually, uh, uh, I just I just thought I was ready, but I'm just not. 
I'm not ready. And I was like, uh, oh, okay. And she's like, so will you tell Bree and Whitney I'm not going to be in anymore? I was like, I guess. That's so fucked up. I was like, I, and then I was like, so you're, and I was going to be like, so you're quitting. But then I was just like, okay, I understand. Like, I was like, so you're, all right. Then she I, asked I like, when she can get her paycheck. Yeah, then she goes, I'm glad you, appre- I'm glad you understand. Now, when can I get my paycheck? And I was like, oh my God. Well, I was like, you haven't worked here long enough to get paid this week. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> not next Friday, but the Friday after that, there should be a paycheck here for you. Uh, for the few days that you, for the few hours that you worked. And she's like, okay, thanks so much. Sorry. It's like, okay. I immediately called Bree and Whitney and I was like, Shannon just quit. And what did they say? They were like, are you fucking kidding me? And, but my thing is like. <laughs> they were like at Kosai having fun. Yeah. And I like had to call and like ruin their day. But yeah. you know, it, that's the, that was just the reality of what had happened. I mean. She was a flaky ass bitch. She had she had a gap, she, she had gap teeth. She was ugly as fuck. Stomach hanging out. Nickname Bam. Yeah, ugly. Fiance. Whitney said that she always tried to top her. Yeah, she would like always. Everything yeah. he said, she tried to top it. Yeah, she'd be, you know she'd be like, like if it like if it was me if I was like yeah I've seen sixteen Broadway shows she's like well I've starred in sixteen Broadway shows <laughs> like it's something bullshit like that, and you know she's, my like my uncle starred in eighteen Broadway shows. My uncle raped me when I was seven. Really? Because my uncle raped me when I was nine. Well, seven's better. So. Well, nine will traumatize you more. You think? Yeah, because you'd, like, remember it. Well, you remember seven gives... when you were seven. True, but it's, like, kind of blurry. Like, I guess. Like, I don't remember shit what happened when I was seven. I remember where we parked at Scooby-Doo in, like, 19... Or, it's at fucking <laughs> King's Island a long-ass time ago. It was Scooby-Doo 5. Isn't that weird a thing to remember? That's a really weird thing. That's a really weird thing to remember, because, like, sometimes I don't even remember where I parked at the mall today, like, when I go out to get my car. I remember randomly masturbating to Total Drama Island. Yeah, you told me about that, and you shouldn't have, because that's because I don't understand. I just masturbated while I was on, and I remember it being on. Uh, well, well, we talked about the first time we masturbated as a Motif episode, and mine was to Deal or No Deal. <laughs> Which I think that's I think that's pretty embarrassing. Uh, oh, anyway, so... We hate this, like, because Hannah and I worked that day, and I had to come in early. I was jacking off. Yeah. That's why, like, I thought of that. And I was like, fuck, I'm going to have to go in early. I hate my life, because I was already dreading going into work, because right. Pretzel Maker is the worst job in the world. Yeah. And this bitch calls off, so I'm like, This you know, bitch quits. Yeah. Yeah. Calls off permanently. Ow. That's what next sound like. Yeah. This bitch quits, and then I gotta go in early, I go in like an hour and a half early, and then Hannah and I get fucking busy, and it never fucking stops. Yeah. And the whole time, I'm like, I remember, I'm like, we should have a third employee. Like, that would yeah. make things easier. Like, why did they, like, get a third employee for today? And they're like, oh, they did. And then I was just like, they did, and that fucking bitch called off, and the whole time, I'm just like, I hate Shannon. She quit. I hate Shannon. Yeah. I keep saying that. Like, yeah, she quit. Like, she fucking, like... It would have been better if she would have just never, like, come came in again. Yeah. I think so, without, like, calling, like, yeah, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I probably still would have hated her if she would, like... I wouldn't have assumed she quit if she just didn't yeah, come Yeah, I thought she would have died. Or, like... <sighs> yeah. And, uh... So, the, like, one time I, like, turned to Hannah and I'm like, I'm gonna go in the back now so I can cry. <laughs> because, like, I was trying to eat, like, some, pre- like, pretzels because I was hungry and I couldn't. Yeah, because people kept coming up. And they're like, can I get smoothies? Can I get this? Can I get that? <laughs> and they're all fucking so stupid. Yeah, so then I come in to help you close and to hang out because we're gonna go, like, like, go eat McDonald's. So we get McDonald's. We get her address off of her application at Trailer Park. We drive Very legal. there. Yeah, oh, for sure. We drive there with the intention of littering in her yard. <laughs> and the trailer park's so small, so we like pull in, go to the left to try to find lot 55 West Road, lot Shannon Marie Voles. AKA Bam. Yes. Uh, and we, we as we're pulling in, like, we finally see that it's hers, so I'm like, hang on, don't throw it out yet. Like, let me turn around so I can get it situated. As we turn around, they open up their window and are looking out. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And we sped away because they immediately would have seen that it was us. Yeah. And, like, come chasing after us. I, it was fucking hilarious. Why you come to my house when I got, I fucking quit my job? I'm a mama. I wanna, I'm like, a damn mama. Do you want to, like, go at, like, 2 in the morning and throw a brick through a window? 
Kind of. <laughs> like, fuck you, Shannon. It'd probably Fucky like bam. it'd probably like fall and like right on her ugly baby. Like that's our luck. Like we'd shatter it through the window and, and like, then the baby sleeps murder. under the window. Like murdering a baby. Yeah, and then they would listen to this and be like, it was like criminal intent. Is that or like what is it when it's like oh, premeditated. premeditated? Yeah, that's murder. what I meant. Yeah. We're not gonna murder. That's a promise. But we are going to go to McDonald's with Brian and Nicole Reagan. I'm excited for the McDonald's. <laughs> Me too. Let's, uh, uh, Black Star comes out this week by David Bowie, so that's something that we're looking yeah, forward so to, excited. and that'll be on records, and also, uh, we have other videos that are planned that I haven't even told RJ about, because... We do? Yep, yep, yep. Well, bye. Yes, it's over. <laughs>